and they're off. Yes. Jumping out of the yes. Romance and come on. With come on, that's it. Get line. those legs up. Kick them. Kick them. Oh, come Here on. Come on. What's the matter with you? Leave your ass. Come on. Don't let me down, you miserable. What? Yes. No. No. Yes. Come on. Come on. No. No, 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 no. No. Bugger. There goes this year's health budget. Yes? You summoned me, Your Majesty. I did? Oh, oh, um, oh yes, I did, didn't I? Is everything alright, Your Majesty? I was just preparing to leave for Hoth. Of course it is. Why wouldn't anything be alright? Damn it, I'm fed up with people constantly asking me if I'm alright. I'm not a diddery old codger, you know. I'm perfectly capable of managing. I meant, is everything alright in general, Master? Well, apart from the fact that the troops are binding their wounds with gaffer tape. Yes, everything's peachy. What news have you to report? Yes, I've heard from the Hoth expedition. In fact, I was just on my way down to, uh, <coughs> supervise them. Oh, that's good to hear. This is a sensitive job. The stakes are higher than we first thought, Lord Vader. I just hope for your sake you didn't use Muppets. I know these men personally, my lord. They were instrumental in our acquisition of the Rebel Stronghold on the Gehenna. Their tactics and ingenuity helped to wipe clean the entire planet of the traitorous vermin. What did they do? Well, they built this giant wooden badger and... Your Majesty! Oh God. Your Majesty! Your Maj... Ah, there you are, Your Majesty. Oh, hello, Mr. Vader. Um, hello. It's not often we see you up here, Chuck. How's that lad of yours? Still growing, is he? Well, uh... Eee, mm. that's marvellous, is that? I remember when he was just a bonny lad bouncing up and down on me knee. Oh, Mind he had a right temper on him, just like his old man, eh? Guard, we are in the middle of a very sensitive political discussion. Leave at once. Ooh, I get him. He's lost money again, ain't he? Hmm, I know. He always goes into one of his strops this time of day. Chucking out time at the bookies. It's a mugs game, Mr. Vader. I say it's a mugs game, ain't it, your worship? Yes. Mind, he won't listen to me, even though it's Muggins here who has to clean his robes every day. I say your waterworks aren't what they were, are they, Chuck? No, they're not, are they? Why, you insolent! Oh, before I forget, there's a Jawa outside who wants word with you, and he won't take no for an answer. A Jawa? Oh, botheration. It's not that idiot who installed the new toilets, is it? That's the one. Barry, I think he called himself. Send him away. I tried, love. He's having none of it. Says he's still owing two grand for the padded seat. The bloody charlatan. Shall I dispatch him for you, my lord? No, he's in a union. We can't touch him. Aye. He'll have to see him, Mr. Vader. Maybe he's tried to calm him down and got a kick in the what's-its for his trouble. I say you'll have to see him, love. Just don't take any lip from him, mind. I'll go show him in, and then I'll go make you some sausages for your tea. That'll be nice, won't it? I can have you executed, you know. <laughs> yeah, <eat it. laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't this hurrying bloody mighty hole in us. Where's me money? Are you sure he's a Jawa? He's very tall. Yes, I think so. It's a genetic defect. Very sad. Very tragic. <sighs> Go sit on your plunger. I'm not paying you 2,000 quid for a ruddy toilet seat. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Who knew this would happen? Me dad told me you bloody Imperials were tighter than a ballerina's jockstrap. I wouldn't pay that much if the seat were made out of diamond studded gold leaf. How dare you try to rip off the Emperor of the known galaxy. You, sir, are a rotter and a cad. My eyes! Everyone knows you're just a puppet. You don't even have power over your own bladder, let alone the galaxy. Oh, that's a filthy lie. E e <gasps> your Majesty, if you'll allow me, perhaps I can be of some assistance in this matter. Are you going to pay me? Not exactly. Then you can't be of any assistance then, can you? We got supplies, you know, and they ain't happy that I can't fork over the dough for materials. Your little throne from home is going to cost me my whole business. I want my money, you bleeding footpad! Oh, very well. What? Y you mean... You mean you're gonna pay me? Well, we can't have your business going under, can we? Come, I'll get you the money from my personal treasury.
This lift will take you down to the treasury. The guard at the door will give you the money. Just tell him I sent you. Why is there a seat in there? I've got to keep my pennies safe. The vault is deep within the bowels of the station. You sure this lift's all right? Of course. Why? But why is there a seatbelt and no smoking sign? <laughs> That's one less pain in the ass. Nicely done, Your Majesty. Thank you, Lord Vader. Now, to business. I summoned you here today because the Force granted me a vision the evening before last. You have foreseen something about Macduff and the Rebels? You can call off the search for Macduff. I can no longer feel his presence in the flow. Macduff is dead? But, but the research... Is complete. It turns out that Macduff finished his research months ago and has already begun final testing. How could he do this without our knowledge? A very good question, my apprentice. I fear our good doctor friend was planning to take his work to the rebels on Hoth. I suspected as much. But what of the research now? Can we still get it back? Of course we can. We must. I have foreseen that one of our stormtroopers that accompanied him is now carrying the prototype, and very soon they will be leaving for somewhere called the Dayglow Bar. I've heard of it. It's a wretched hive of scum and villainy. A what? A wretched hive of scum and villainy. And who are they? Who? Scum and villainy. No one, my lord. It was a cliché. Bless you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Mm. So, this Dayglow Bar... Where is it? It is not far from Mos Eisley Starport on Tatooine. Mos Eisley, eh? Hmm. Yes, my lord. And what sort of place is that? It's a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Ah, so it's a twin city. No, your highness. It's a one-horse town in the middle of a big sandpit. We tried to occupy it years ago, but they hit us at a new tactic that caught us a bit off guard. Oh, yes? And what tactic was that? Carpet sellers, your majesty. Legions of them. The troops are overrun by their absurdly loud sales pitches. The vicious swine. Indeed. And the stormtroopers on their way there? That is what I have foreseen. Then rest assured, your highness. Should myself and my men fail on Hoth, then I shall make best speed for Tatooine and deal with this matter personally. Good man. See that you do. Dismissed. Come on, Villa. Papa needs a new ministry for agriculture.